Hey everybody, I'm Five Ben Man, and today I'm back again with another tutorial on how to make your computer a little bit more fun to use. Okay, so last week I showed you how to change your folder documents and whatever icons on your computer into a custom icon. Well, this week I'm going to be showing you how to get this cool little dock right here called the Rocket Dock. Okay, as you can see, it is nice little dock and go into preferences go all these cool little things applications all this so uh, yeah let's get right into this so we are going to first want to get on the internet type in rocket doc want to go to rocketdoc.com click download and then click download rocket doc right here um, then you're going to want to save that and then set it up easy stuff I uh, don't need to really go over that, and I already have downloaded it. Okay, so once you've downloaded Rocket Doc, you will have something that might not look like this. It'll have a whole bunch of weird icons on here, and it's just going to be the company's settings, <laughs> basically. So uh, what you're going to want to do is right-click on this, click Dock Settings. And then this little screen will pop up right here. Um, I have it set to high quality just because, I don't know, I feel like it. Um, slower, I haven't really noticed it being any slower. Opacity 100 makes it uh, so the icons are not uh, see-through. Zoom opaque, I don't know, I just kind of fiddled around with some of these. But anyways, these are the main things you're going to want to do. You're going to want to click run at startup so that when your computer starts, this dock will start with it you're going to want to click minimize windows to dock now this is just a um, preference let's say you open up google chrome and then you minimize it yes yeah, you can see down in here the uh, little icon for the it's minimized basically to the dock so you can click on this and then reopen it uh... so i like that that is like, once again a preference um, running application indicators. Application indicators is, if you cannot see this, uh, there's a little black type arrow underneath Skype right there. If I open up uh, Google Chrome, it's not going to open up because I have this window open, but it has a little black dock under it um, just to let you know that that thing is running. Um, not quite sure. Oh, open running application instance. Once again, that's preference. Um, not quite clear on what it does, but I'm pretty sure it's like if you have, uh, let's say, internet open um, and it's minimized, you can click back on the uh, Chrome button back here and it will unminimize whatever you were doing. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And lock items is just so that you cannot pull out uh, these. As if I right click, click lock items, you can pull it out and then basically delete it. Okay, so let's see. Icons have all these. If you guys want to get exactly what I have, just copy them down. Okay, now position. You can have a screen position, which is at the top of the screen, the bottom of the screen, the left, or the right of the screen. Um, I want to get a little bit of a Mac feel here, so I'm going to go with bottom. Centering is how... let's see. Uh, centering, yeah, it's where it is in the middle of the screen. Zero will be completely in the middle of the screen, and edge offset is how far up and down it is. Um, this is another thing. Layering. You're always going to want to have it always on bottom if you want this dock to be on the bottom of all your windows. So let's say you have Google Chrome open, um, and this is set to always on top, then this dock will never go away. It will always be on top and you'll always see it. If you have always on bottom, that means it will basically stick to uh, your desktop screen and for people who still don't know what I'm talking about, um, basically it's just like a Mac. So I totally recommend that. Okay, now here's where we get to styles. Um, Mac OS Leopard is what I have. Uh, it's not the exact same thing, but it is something close. I will show you how to get that in a second. You can download a whole bunch of different themes, as you can see here, um, down at the bottom. I'm just going to kind of scroll through them, see there's a whole bunch of different themes. And I prefer the Mac OS. I also like this crystal whatever, but I like that one. 
um, disable icon labels when you have your pointer over top of it, it will say finder or downloads or whatever. Um, that just basically gets rid of that, so let's disable it. See, there's no little label in there. Um, outline opacity. This is all just how to edit the text. Behavior. I have it set to bounce. I think that's when you click on it and it opens, it will bounce. Auto hide, pop up over a mouse. I don't know. These are just a whole bunch of different settings that is totally up to you and about is with the company. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the settings. Um, went through and figured out the best things possible. Now another thing is, is you can go on that website I told you about, um, iconarchive.com. Link will be down in the description. Um, also make sure to check out my other video I had. Uh, link will be probably at the bottom somewhere. And you guys can check out how to change icon folders in which they can apply here. So. I have Norton right here. I don't know, it's just on my desktop for some random reason. But, um, you can take this and drag it just right in. Well, I have it locked. You can just drag it right in, and then there it is, and then you can pull it back out, and poof, it's gone. Uh, so you can edit those, uh, different icons and pull them in, and then whatever this icon is, it will be there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, let's see. You can also edit your own custom trash cans, like I'll empty my trash can there. Emptied. Uh, different docklets, like as you can see here, these are stack docklets for all my different applications. Um, and basically that. So let's get on back over to uh, rocketdoc.com, and I'll show you that one theme. Link will be down in the description for all those lazy people, which is probably me. Um, so we're going to click Get Add-ons docklets and then right here it'll say stack docklets the first one right here really I don't think either one matters but you're gonna wanna click on stack docklets and then save this thing um, and then pull it out and then what you're gonna wanna do is go into your computer um, you're gonna want to cut this or copy it or whatever uh, or drag it in and let me get on over to that one file hold on one second Okay, so you want to want to go into your files, and what you're going to do is go to your local disk, uh, disk C. You want to go to Program Files, uh, X, X686, I don't know, whatever. Um, that one, then you want to scroll all the way down and find Rocket Doc. You're going to want to click onto that, and then you will see there's Data, Defaults, Docklets, Help, Icons, Languages, Skins, and Tools. So what you're going to want to do is go into Docklets and paste this so you can see I have stack docklets right here that you're gonna to wanna to paste that if it's any docklet you're gonna to wanna to paste it right into this docklet folder and then it will be automatically there okay so we're gonna to want to run back over to rocket doc I don't know why I keep xing it out rocket doc get add-ons once again skins this is the iOS iOS uh, leopard. I don't know how to spell leopard. <laughs> oh boy. Just type in Mac. Nope. iOS. Oh boy. Leopard. Yay, there we go. Okay, Mac OS X Leopard Skin. Now, same rules apply here. You're going to want to take this, download it right here, and go into this file, except you're going to want to put it into skins right here. Uh, now, if if, blah, 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 if this is not working for you, um, which you make sure that the actual folder, sometimes there will be like a folder that says um, Mac OS skin but then inside of it there will be another one that says the exact same thing you're gonna to wanna to take the folder that is inside of that first folder and then take that one and put it in here because sometimes that will screw it up if it's not if you're not seeing it um check that and that is pretty much the 99 percent reason why it's not working and once again check out my other video you guys can see how to change um icons once again go to that one website get icons and then just basically copy those icons right into this folder um i edited some of these icons but what you can do is 
put these icons in here and they'll be available right through the dock. Okay, so that's a little tutorial on how to get Rocket Dock and how to get some of the cool features. Now, what else you're going to want to do is right click on here, click Add Item. You're going to want to click Stack Docklet. Now, here's Stack Docklet. You're going to want to right click, click Icon Settings, and then you're going to want to find the place you want the folder to be um, finding from, whether your documents or any other folder. You're going to want to click Icon Tab right here and then choose the icon you want so I guess I'll just pick uh, this up button um, sort by name just different things and then mode you have fan or grid so I'll just choose whichever one I don't know it's really not gonna matter then it will look like this you can click on that and then it will pop up I just did not put a folder in there yet um, but you get the idea Okay, and also how to change, let's see, dock settings. You're going to want to go to style and then find that one theme that you put in there. Once again, if you pull something in here, like a shortcut, you can always right click on that icon, click icon settings, and then choose that icon that you've put in there into that one fold that I told you about and just change it from right in there. Okay, so sometimes when you restart your computer, turn your computer on. Uh, whatever, um, your docklet icon will like reset itself. So something to fix this is you're going to go to that docklet folder, right click on it, click properties, security, edit, and then click on this one and allow all of them. Then you're going to click OK and apply all those and then it shouldn't happen anymore. If not, um, I may have this wrong, try out the same thing, properties, all that, for uh, this folder right here. It's either going to be the docklets one or it will be um, just this entire folder um, whichever one I'm pretty sure it's the docklet one but uh, that's how I fix it for me so that's pretty much it for this tutorial um, if you have any questions or comments uh, please leave those down below if you want to know how I got any of these other things I will gladly do a tutorial for you and I will uh, PM you whenever that is ready um, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, this is 5 Ben Man, and I'll see you later.